In this video, we will show you everything you need to know about the components of a NextSeq 1000-2000 XLEAP SPS Raging Kit and how to prepare them for a run. All NextSeq 1000-2000 XLEAP SPS Raging Kits come with the following three components. XLEAP SPS Raging Cartridge, XLEAP SPS Flow Cell, NextSeq 1000-2000 Resuspension Buffer RSB plus Tween 20 in a 1.5 milliliter tube. The reagent cartridge is shipped on dry ice and upon arrival should be stored in the freezer at minus 25 to minus 15 Celsius in its original box with arrows pointing up to avoid tears or punctures in the foil bag. The flow cell and supplied resuspension buffer plus tween 20 is shipped at ambient room temperature and should be stored in a fridge at 2 to 8 degrees Celsius upon arrival. Unboxing and thawing the XLEAP reagent cartridge. Just before use, remove from the freezer and unbox the Regent cartridge, which comes in a labeled and sealed foil bag. Always thaw the cartridge in the unopened foil bag with the label facing up and according to one of the three methods in the table shown here. In a controlled water bath at 25 degrees Celsius, in a refrigerator at 2 to 8 degrees Celsius, or at room temperature. Thawing will take at a minimum between 8 to 22 hours depending on thaw method. If the bag appears torn during or prior to the thaw process, do not use the cartridge. Do not refreeze the cartridge once thawed. The cartridge must be used for a run within the time period specified according to the thaw method, which is a maximum of 56 to 72 hours after the minimum thaw time. If the cartridge is stored in the refrigerator at 2 to 8 degrees Celsius, let it sit at room temperature for 15 minutes before use, not to exceed one hour. Preparing the XLEAP reagent cartridge. Once the XLEAP reagent cartridge is thawed, Slowly invert the cartridge on its horizontal axis 10 times to mix the reagents inside. Then, place the cartridge on a flat surface. Lift the cartridge from the arm end about 2 inches above the flat surface and release to the bench five times to reduce air bubbles and to stabilize the reagents contained inside before loading the run. If the cartridge is accidentally dropped, repeat this lift and release process. Use of the XLEAP Flow Cell. The XLEAP Flow Cell should be stored in its sealed foil package at two to eight degrees Celsius. When ready to use the flow cell, Remove from the fridge and allow unopened package to sit at room temperature for 10 to 15 minutes prior to a run to prevent condensation from affecting run quality. Tear or cut with scissors at the slits on either side of the pouch to open. Remove the flow cell from the foil pouch and set the pouch and desiccant aside in case needed for continued storage. Hold the flow cell by the gray tab with the label facing up. Then push to insert the XLEAP flow cell into the front of the prepared cartridge. An audible click is heard. Once inserted, remove the gray tab to expose the flow cell. Recycle the gray tab. Once the flow cell is inserted into the raging cartridge, add the library, diluted to the recommended loading concentration for your application using the provided RSB plus tween 20, to the library well reservoir. Use a clean P1000 pipette tip to pierce the foil above the reservoir. Add the diluted library to the bottom of the reservoir and avoid touching the foil edges. If applicable to your workflow, add custom primers to custom one and or custom two welds and ensure the correct option is selected during run setup. The consumables are now ready to be loaded onto the instrument for the run. Follow the NextSeq 1000-2000 instrument on-screen prompts to correctly set up, load, and start your XLEAP run.